Hello everyone, my name's Bob Mitch and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. As I said in the last video, we've got some med bed play now. So, as you can see here, this is the wonderful new Cutlass Black that we just have brought in. It just dropped in the last build, as I said, and I figured they were going to drop it soon because we've seen some devs flying around the PTU in it. And she looks good, doesn't she? So, this is the medical variant of the Drake Cutlass line. So, this is a essentially an ambulance. Now, I don't know if you saw in the camera pan there, but there was a lot of light glaring from the front. And that's because this big dish on top, whilst I assume it is a scanner, there's actually a giant searchlight on top of it. It doesn't look very big, but it's got a very bright light that you can point around. So, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. I just added this little section in here because I think she looks very pretty in Quantum. I don't know if the same um, effect has been applied to the Drake Cutlass Black, but uh, I thought it looked quite nice going through Quantum Travel. She also seems to have a lot of firepower for an ambulance, so just like the Cutlass Black, I don't know if this is, due to, this is due to change or not, but she's got four main guns loaded on the top, just like the original Cutlass Black. No missiles though, I think. And I zoomed into one of these towers here near, um, I think I was going to Pinewood on Hurston just to show, and you can see the searchlight sort of zeroing in on the tower there. It's on top of that dish on the left hand side where there's like a, a big glary light. But it follows the movement of where you move your mouse when you're flying around, but it also moves around in free look, as you can see. So if you use free look, you can direct the searchlight. I don't know if you can turn this off yet, because I haven't really played around much and I haven't found a control for it. It's not T like the normal flashlights. And here just showcasing that now we can rotate uh, the engines. So if you've got ships with VTOL engines, this isn't something new, but I don't think I, this is something I've talked about before. So ships with VTOL thrusters like this in the Constellation can now rotate their main engines. So let's go and have a look around the main ship. Cut those red then. So we just had this added and it was quite a looker i think it's quite a nice different paint job from the um the cutlass black the normal cutlass black that we're used to uh, as i've demonstrated it's got that dish up there i don't know if this is going to be some kind of scanner i assume so but it, uh, it has that nifty searchlight we don't have the huge sliding doors because we don't have the cargo bays this time instead we've got little airlocks that look like they've been pinched from a constellation so they could be reused assets i'm not sure it's very cool now that we can make the engines rotate. So using the J key on different ships will produce different effects. If they have VTOL thrusters, then they will point down as these do. Not sure if the freelancer ones do. Don't think they don't. Um, the um, like the the turbo fans on the constellation will open and close. And we go in the back here. And as opposed to last time where you had a giant cargo space, this is now changed. So I think this, these are cargo plates, you can have a little bit of cargo, but I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck trying to get a vehicle in here. This door here is normally closed when you come up, so you can see caution airlock, med bay. And if we open this, you come into the med bay. So as I said, we've got these airlocks here, and they don't look quite the same as the Constellation ones. Are they going to open? Closed door, seal airlock, oh okay. So you can open and seal them. So we'll unseal it. That doesn't seem to be working properly at the minute. By the looks of it. It could just be the spill on the PTU or it could just be broken. I'm not 100% sure. Never mind. We have normal beds here. So these are just bed beds. So I don't know if these are for more crew. Potentially for... Um, you know, nursing staff as such, or paramedics, or whoever may be on board the ship with you. Uh, but these are just bed beds. These are the med bays. And as you can see, they're a bit different from the one that's in the 890 Jump. The 890 Jump has what looks like an MRI bed on it. If you've seen the 890 Jump, it's kind of like a, an all-encompassing thing with a giant dish that covers you and scans you. This one is a little bit different, so I'm going to lie down in one of these. And if I glance around somewhere, there should be an option. There it is, set as preferred ICU. So you can see set as preferred ICU or get up. So I don't know why it's all the way down there. It's a bit strange. Maybe they've got to move it. Just glance around. I haven't used these yet, so that was uh, why I'm a bit lost with this one. Get up again, if she can. Oh no, I'm stuck in bed. Either that or the service 30 came. 
So yes, the server did 30k. <laughs> so I'm doing this from inside the hangar at Lawville. So that was the many bed, and this is the little bed area. Um, when you are healed, as opposed to the, the giant ring in the 890 sort of coming over you, this thing lights up, a bit like an MRI scanner, like the 890 looks like a giant MRI bed, and it heals you up. There is a video of this on Reddit that I've seen, someone doing where they injured themselves, so you can self-heal as such. And going through into the front here, just have the normal habitation. You seem to have some kind of glitched panel, so you can see your damaged state inside. It's got a little, have something broken in here on the PTU, of course. And then we've just got the normal habitation beds as per the uh, Cutlass series, normally, so the Cutlass Black. And I don't know if this is a working turret. I would assume not. What's this bit here for, then? I think that's just a toilet, isn't it? <laughs> so it, it, it's actually turned into like habitation now as opposed to um, yeah a turret entrance so this doesn't have a turret as you saw it just has a big searchlight on top now so yeah that's the cutlass red in a nutshell so thank you very much for watching we'll see if we can do some injury stuff and uh, get that done and i will see you next time